In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on July 1st, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. New York Yankees vs. St. Louis Cardinals Game 2 The New York Yankees face St. Louis in Game 2 of a day-night doubleheader from Busch Stadium. This game is weather permitting as the weather could force another doubleheader on Sunday. At this point, if the first game in the afternoon is complete, the Yankees will go with a bullpen game with the Cards using Matthew Liberator. Cardinals are 4-0 in Flaherty's last four Saturday starts. Yankees are 10-1 in their last 11 Saturday games. Yankees are 0-5 in their last five road games versus a right-handed starter. Yankees are 0-4 in their last four games versus a starter with a WHIP greater than 1.3. Cardinals are 1-6 in their last seven home games versus a right-handed starter. It's always tough when going with a bullpen game in the second game of a doubleheader, but the Cards will win this one. Liberator is a much better pitcher at home and the Yankees are not facing Oakland anymore. Give German and all the credit in the world for throwing a perfect game, but he's not doing that against a lineup featuring Arenado and Paul Goldschmidt. The Yankees lineup is not very intimidating without Judge. They are hitting just .227 against lefties and Liberator will do enough to get his team over the hump. So the St. Louis money line is our full game side pick. The New York offense woke up against Oakland and while I know that the A's are barely a major league team, the Cards just gave up 24 runs in their last two games at home. They have enough of an offensive arsenal to pummel a Yankees bullpen that's pretty good but they'll be limited and will need to go deep considering who ends up pitching in the first game. At home, St. Louis is producing 5.23 runs per game at home including 6.04 runs per game against Southpaws. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Cleveland Guardians vs. Chicago Cubs This Saturday night matchup features the second game of the three-game series between the Cleveland Guardians traveling to take on the Chicago Cubs at home. Cleveland dropped the first game of the series in their 10-1 loss last night and will look to even up the series in Game 2. The Cubs split their last eight games, but they've won six of their last 11 home games. They are playing well offensively and scored 21 runs in their last four home games. Expect them to play well offensively in this game because they have hit the ball well against right-handers and Bibby has struggled on the mound in recent games, giving up 11 runs in his last three starts. He gave up 12 runs in his last three road starts and will have a hard time slowing down the Cubs in this game. The Guardians have won three of their last five games, but they've lost five of their last nine road games. They are also playing well offensively and scored 19 runs in their last three games. With the exception of his last start, Stroman has done a good job on the mound, giving up five runs in his previous five starts. He gave up four runs in his last three starts at Wrigley Field and two runs in his last two starts against the Guardians, so expect him to keep Cleveland's offense in check. The Cubs have a significant edge on the bump with Marcus Stroman starting against the Guardians' Tanner Bibby. Stroman has posted a 2.47 earned run average and a 1.08 WHIP while Bibby posts a 3.79 earned run average and a 1.3 WHIP on the season. The Cubs enjoy the benefit of playing at home where they tend to hit and play better. In terms of trends, the Guardians are 0-4 in their past four road games with a total set under eight. In addition, when these teams have faced off in the past, the Guardians are 1-4 in their past five meetings in Chicago. The Cubs took the first game of the series easily in their 10-1 win last night, and I would expect another win in game two. So the Chicago Cubs' money line is our full game side pick. The Guardians are averaging 4.01 runs per game and 4.46 runs per game on the road. They average 2.33 runs per game in their last three games against the Cubs, with Chicago giving up 2.37 runs per game in home games started by Stroman. The Guardians will be held well under their average in this game. The Cubs are averaging 4.54 runs per game and 4.63 runs per game at home. They average 2.67 runs per game in their last three games against the Guardians, with Cleveland giving 
giving up 4.29 runs per game on the road, the Cubs won't score enough runs to push the score over the total. The Cubs and Guardians played under the total in seven of their last nine meetings. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Tampa Bay Rays vs. Seattle Mariners. Two 2022 postseason squads are set to battle this weekend, with the Tampa Bay Rays staying west, this time with the Seattle Mariners in their path. As evident by their records, returning to October has taken different trajectories for these clubs. However, there's still half of a season left, so nothing is set in stone yet. Let's see if a weekend set in T-Mobile Park will have a lasting impact on the 2023 MLB story. The Tampa Bay Rays are 57-28 to this season and they have won three games in a row. Tampa Bay won the first game in this series by a score of 15-4 to on Friday night. The Tampa Bay pitching staff has a 3.60 earned run average, a 1.2 WHIP, and a .225 opponent batting average this season. The Rays offense has scored 479 runs with a .265 batting average and a .338 on base percentage. Yandy Diaz is batting .316 with 12 home runs and 39 RBIs for the Rays. The projected starting pitcher for Tampa Bay is Tyler Glasnow, who is 2-1 with a 4.45 earned run average and a 1.32 WHIP over 30.1 innings pitched this year. The Seattle Mariners are 38-42 this season and they have lost five of their last six games. Prior to losing the first game in this series, Seattle lost two out of three games games to Washington. The Seattle pitching staff has a 3.95 earned run average, a 1.21 WHIP, and a .240 opponent batting average. The Mariners offense has scored 357 runs with a .229 batting average and a .308 on base percentage this year. Julio Rodriguez is batting .238 with 13 home runs and 42 RBIs for the Mariners. The projected starting pitcher for Seattle is George Kirby, who is 6-7 with a 3.26 earned run average and a 1.07 WHIP over 94 innings pitched this season. Tampa Bay is 1-5 in their last six Saturday games. The over is 6-2 in Tampa Bay's last eight Saturday games. Seattle is 0-4 in their last four game twos of a series and 1-5 in their last six games. The over is 6-2-1 in Seattle's last nine game twos of a series. Tampa Bay is 6-1 in these two teams' last seven head-to-head -head meetings. Seattle has George Kirby on the mound at home, a proven recipe for success. Success. It's hard to hold these Rays bats down, but if anyone is capable, he is. After him, an elite bullpen should be capable of slamming the door shut. Tyler Glasnow has been a coin flip in his limited 2023 action, so the Mariners' bats may tee off on him. Even if they don't, he's not stretched out enough to save Tampa's relievers. They aren't awful, but they're hittable, so the Seattle Mariners' money line is our full game side pick. This total is quite low for two offenses that are capable of exploding on any given day. The pitching in this game should be phenomenal, but Tyler Glasnow has been a mixed bag this season, and Tampa's bullpen isn't dominant. On the other side, Kirby has been great at home but has two rough T-Mobile Park starts this season. The Rays have elite bats that can beat any pitcher. Seattle has a lineup that is a nightmare when they're seeing the ball well. This game should finish with more than seven runs. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.